I want to tell you a secret. Fiscal policy has a brain. Fiscal policy, the federal government's use of the budget to affect economic activity, has a brain. So, what do I mean? The federal budget consists of revenue, the money the government earns, and expenditure, the money the government spends. It's much like a household budget. Okay. That all seems pretty straightforward, but here's where it gets a little bit tricky. The federal budget is also affected by cyclical and structural factors. Structural factors are those items that the government chooses to spend money on. For instance, the government says we'll spend X billion dollars on health or defence. These are deliberate decisions. That's the structural side. Cyclical factors are the parts of the budget that are affected by the level of economic activity. They are not the result of government decisions. Cyclical factors occur whether the government likes it or not. Let's take an example. Imagine the economy is booming, GDP is growing, more people are finding work and unemployment is falling. It's a great time to be alive. You've got a job and more money in your pocket. Here, a couple of things happen automatically. The government automatically spends less on unemployment benefits because more people have jobs. The government automatically collects more personal income tax as more people are in work and earning money. Now, let's flip the example. The economy is slowing. GDP declines, unemployment increases, and people's incomes generally fall. It's not such a great time. You might be out of a job, and you've probably got less income in your pocket. Here, a couple of things happen automatically. The government automatically spends more on unemployment benefits because more people are out of work. The government automatically collects less personal income tax as unemployment increases and people generally earn less. Think about this. The government didn't choose to spend more on unemployment benefits or collect less in tax. These are cyclical things that happened automatically. They're out of the control of government. In this way, unemployment benefits and income tax are known as automatic stabilisers. Why are they called automatic stabilisers? Because they automatically try to stabilise the economy, to slow it down or to speed it up. In this way, fiscal policy has a brain. It partly does its own thing, regardless of what government chooses. Yeah. So, what should you take from today's lesson? Here are the three things you need to remember. One. Fiscal policy is the use of the federal budget to affect the level of economic activity. Two, fiscal policy has a brain. It uses automatic stabilizers to moderate the level of economic activity. Three, the automatic stabilizers are the progressive income tax system, the more you earn, the more tax you pay, and unemployment benefits. And that's today's lesson.